It's no secret that Kathleen High School does not have the best reputation, but I can proudly say that it is students like these here with me today that are the reason this reputation means nothing to us. Because unlike some, we choose to work in a vision. A vision that focuses on the pride and success of Kathleen's past so that we might become the successors of Kathleen's present and eventually join the storied Red Devil alumni. However, this approach is far from being just here at the school. Countywide, Polk County has seen some amazing talents in all kinds of career fields. So today we're going to take a look at some of that history along with the present and the future to discover what it means to be working with the vision. So what exactly does this mean? Simply put, a bad reputation, parts of your education that you are unhappy with, a home life that you wish was better, or just not having the right role models are all examples of circumstances that can bring you down. In order to rise above those, we have to work with a vision. Part of that can come from looking at the success that has been around Polk County in the past. There are great examples all over the county, like Auburndale's Tracy McGrady, whose career included being a seven-time All-Star and two-time NBA scoring leader, or someone like Lakeland High School's Lawton Childs that not only has a school named in his honor here in Lakeland, but also served as the governor of Florida during the 1990s. In fact, there is such a grand history with Polk County Public Schools that I could go on for hours with just that alone. However, I would like to focus on what that means for us today. And in my opinion, there is no one better to speak with about this approach than Kathleen High School's very own senior class president, Kiara Arce. Arce's work has even led her to the University of Florida, where she will be pursuing a future in law. Reflecting on the past few years and the effects that COVID has had on students, it made me want to prioritize my education and make sure that that is my main focus throughout the whole pandemic. And in the outcome, I ended up being accepted to the University of Florida and eventually pursuing a criminology degree on a pre-law track. Working with a vision seems like such a foreign idea today because of the world's obsession with the present. Rather than having a dream, most have a reaction and little else to show. Academics in Polk County have extreme potential when you look at the homegrown talent that has existed here for decades, which means we have tremendous opportunity to create a vision, run with that vision, and put Polk County on the map in brand new and exciting ways. If we do not fight to work in this vision, it's like playing football with a leather helmet of the 1920s against the helmets used today. Nobody wants to step on that field, so we have to find a way to use the helmets of tomorrow rather than settling for the helmets of today. For some, working with the vision isn't about working with the vision of the future. It's about working with the vision of the present and how they can break barriers today. Polk County has a history of breaking those barriers with individuals like Willie Speed who was the first black principal at an integrated school in Polk County. This year, Polk County saw another first, with the first ever female coach on a boys football team. She even coached a female on that team, and she now coaches the first ever girls flag football team here at Kathleen. I love being the first person to set that standard, and same with these girls here. Coaching this is a, the first year it's a sport here, and to be the first Kathleen flag football team is such an amazing honor and I, I, I hope that they see that too and then they look to push boundaries as we are doing now today. For me, this vision is something that has been built through conversations in my digital video class because we have completely changed the way that we work in the classroom. You know, for me, working with the vision in the classroom means I'm always looking at how I'm teaching things, what I'm teaching and constantly looking to evolve that, specifically in video production. We're constantly looking at the way that we're presenting the news because obviously the way that the news was presented 20 years ago is completely different from the way that the news is taken in today. So students, staff, athletes, and coaches all have to be a part of this vision to give Polk County Public Schools the best opportunity for success. Make sure to do your part by not dwelling on the circumstances. Instead, take the words of Mr. Murray Ms. Arcy, or even Ms. Nicholson, and make sure you are working with the vision. I'm Ian Pennypacker with Polk County Public Schools, Kathleen High School, and Ignition TV. Thank you for watching.